okay so next we will see we will do the user activities and we will see where we are we supposed to get the accounting document whether we are getting or not so create the purchase order I, again right now i am mm user i'm going to create the purchase order me21n select the vendor here Add your purchase organization okay here when you are selecting the vendor make sure that the vendor what you are selecting it should be created under purchase organization if you have created any vendor only from a five point of view and you are selecting here it is the system will not accept add the company code purchase group what is our material Two, four, two, three. Can, can you have multiple purchase organizations for company code? Yeah, you can do that. What would be the reason for doing that? Is it because you want to maintain no, a different... No, normally, uh, normally, like if company is going for central purchase unit, purchase organization, then one to one relation is there if you want to maintain multiple or under one company code unit wise purchase organization then you can because we have assignment option there there anyway we are going to assign purchase organization to company code so you can do okay. that purchase group is wmp Select the material, 2423, purchase quantity, let's say 60, delivery date, price, plant, Okay, here I want to add some transportation cost. So you need to add the condition. Right now you don't know the condition type. In ASD we will see this. Add the condition type uh, for transportation cost or for freight. It is add it here. FRB1. And the transportation cost is let's say 200. Total transportation cost 200. So now your total material cost is 12,000. Transportation cost is 200. So total this uh, uh, invoice will be there. Just exclude the tax and all. It will be 12,200. The same price is updated here. Post it. Note down this PO number. Purchase order internal document in MM with this no other document will be generated next I'm going to process the GR and here we will expect the other documents so process the GR or the common transaction code MIGO here the movement types are important because the same transaction code MIGO we can use for um, other areas also so that's why make sure that when you are processing one GR movement type should be 101 Go for Migo or it is there in the logistic material management inventory management goods movement goods receipt for purchase order if PO number you know you, 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 you can directly suppose you don't know the PO number we go purchase order number no so you can search the purchase order also suppose I want to search the purchase order me 23 n 
right now it is only one purchase order is there so directly it's showing suppose multiple purchase orders are there click on document overview on activate the purchase orders and you can search purchase orders from vendor wise or company code wise okay let's say we will search the purchase order for this vendor what are the purchase orders are there you will get the list here okay so in that way you can search the purchase order okay add your purchase order number or you can directly give the plant and execute what are the purchase order will be there you can select from the list our plant is w1 make sure that this movement type is 101 which is your we are receiving the goods against your purchase order Now we are processing the GR, MM person processing the GR. So select item OK. OK, before this, you just check whether whatever we, we have placed the order, we are receiving the same. We are receiving from this vendor. OK, and this is the material number. This is the material details, material group. How many quantity? 60 kg from this uh, in this plant we are purchasing. This is your PO number freight cost is also there from this vendor all these informations are there available i want to see whether all the informations are available or not select item okay check one field intentionally left blank yes storage location so storage location is missing just go to here add the storage location WM01. Now, once again, check. Post it. So, with this posting, you will find two documents one MM document and one FI document. Document number generated. Note it. We know how to check the FI document FB03 that we will see. Check the M, uh, MM document MB03. This is the document number. Go to overview. Okay. Check the details. The details already we have verified. Now go to material master. So that time you ask why we are we need them. We processed one GR. Now we are going to see the material information, master information, and also we are going to see the accounting information. Select go to material master. Previously, what was the stock position? Zero. Now go to the accounting information, accounting tab. We are having 60 kg of stock, and the stock price is 20. 3.33 how this price derived this is your moving average price 12,200 divided by 60 the price is updated and also one more price is updated what is this price this is your GL price so total value now if you'll check your FBL 3 and entry you will find the accounting entries Check the current date. Okay, here some old uh, month and activity dates are ignore this one. Okay, what is your raw material stock? Inflow of stock 12,200 and 
what is uh, this posting key 89 89 means inward stock movement nowhere we have posted any manual entries we just process the gr or mm person process the gr and we are getting the update everything accounting information so check the 89 89 stock inward movement okay debit entry so st stock ledger updated with 12200 so what is the accounting entry raw metal stock will debit now we are purchase order done this one gr raw metal stock debited grr supposed to be credit and uh, freight clearing supposed to be credit let's see stock debited grr 12,000 that means creditor with stock price and freight clearing creditor with 200 so this accounting entry GRIR credit means 96 debit 86 see GRIR credit and GL stock that is also credit 50 200 same how can we say this one is your one integrated document that you can verify from F mm document also and fi document also if you will see here go to the accounting document so that means with reference to the mm document with reference to this mm document document number 360 this fi document 50000 posted so we can also verify if we'll go to the original document you will find the mm document or gr this one we have processed so with reference to this document we got the accounting document this is the accounting document also you can verify the relationship browser now we are in fb03 purchase order with this purchase order gr and the accounting okay this this one we we have seen from mm the source document was mm document also we can get the same information from fi Check anyone. Document number, purchase document updated. This is FI document, so that's why reference document is updated. So purchasing document updated with reference to this one, purchase order 738. With reference to this purchase order, there is a stock movement or inward stock movement is there. And you can see the accounting document. stock debited chair credited and freight clearing now let's verify this document in your table be sick okay document number company code wm10 blnr document number 54 times 0 GRA document updated okay stock I mean this GRA uh, this is your stock price debit this is your GRIR and this is your credit right now with this activity we don't have any scope we can't verify the your uh, MM document this option is not there it's only accounting information swing if you if you need some uh, mm information then you need to check the mm table these things are simplified in